look, I have a text from somebody. It says, hey Lisa, check out this expert advisor. It's doing really well. Two trades. Another text message from somebody else. Hey Lisa, I've been testing this expert advisor for a while now. You should totally check it out. Okay, how long have you been testing this expert advisor for? One week? I see this sort of a behavior happening all the time in YouTube videos, YouTube comments, uh, Telegram groups, and Discord groups. Users, especially beginners, are jumping from one expert advisor and one strategy to another strategy after a handful of trades or after a short period of trading. As soon as it goes into drawdown, they jump ship into another expert advisor. As a rather conservative trader, I like to see at least six months of demo testing on my own broker before I even move it to a live account. And that is a general rule. Sometimes I will test it for a little bit less depending on the transparency of the vendor. If they have a MyFX book account, if they hide their open trades, historical trades, lot sizing, and if my transactions match their transactions and sometimes a little bit more depending on if I can replicate their results, if they continue to deposit and withdraw from their own accounts, and if there's any manipulation on their side, or if there is absolutely no MyFX book results at all. One of the systems I'm testing is the robots from EA Trading Academy, and I'm testing the top 10 Forex EAs, top 10 crypto EAs, and the top 10 gold EAs. This is a package that you can buy from EA Trading Academy and every month they give you fresh new expert advisors generated from the software. There's also a bunch of other courses that also come with free EAs that are updated monthly and I've done a handful of them as well. And while the course content is good and the author does show some results in the courses, they're only a week worth of trading. I want to see long term wise how the expert advisors perform. And unfortunately, I scoured the internet, but I couldn't find anywhere that had a long-term performance of this expert advisor. So I devised a plan. So first step was to see if this is worth my time. So for the past six months, every single week, I have downloaded the expert advisors and demo tested them and it followed the teachings outlined in the course. So I've picked the best expert advisors that performed in the past month and past week of trading and that had a profit factor of at least 1.2 and at least three trades in the past week and month of trading. So after 186 days, this is my own trading results. This is my simulated pretend live account. And this one started on $1,000 and is currently up 35.8% with a drawdown of 11%. You can see there are a wide range of different currencies because every single week the expert advisors that I choose can be different. And if you look at every single trade that has occurred, I have kept the lot sizing consistent at 0.01. And there is absolutely no grid and no martingale involved in any of these. Every single trade is a single take profit and a single stop loss individually. And if I go to my MT4 terminal and open up a chart, and I'm going to drag all the Euro USD trades onto this chart over the past few months. So you can see exactly how the trades have occurred and you can see exactly why there is no grid and no martingale in these expert advisors. If you read the reviews online of the robots produced by EA Studio Academy, you'll find a whole mix of different ones. Some people will say it's good, some people will say it's bad. But realistically, without FX Blue and my FX book links, I don't know what they're basing their decisions on. Are they making their decisions based on one week worth of trading, two days worth of trading? So that's why I decided to test it out for myself. And it has been six months since I started this experiment, which concludes phase one testing. And I had three objectives in phase one testing. The first objective was working out how I wanted to operate because this is a high effort to maintain all these expert advisors. The first of all, when I first started all these expert advisors, I had them all on a demo account and I was adding more and more every single month. And then I was copying the ones that worked into another MT4 terminal. And I found that was just so unbelievable how much it time it took to maintain that. So afterwards, I changed it up and I started using the FX Blue copier and I started using a script, a custom script that I wrote, which I made freely available to my Patreon members. 
and that reduced the work from one hour to about 10 minutes over the weekend. However, that's just to update the expert advisors from demo to live. The actual setting up of the expert advisors to monitor them and uh, put them on FX Blue is still a fair amount of effort and it takes up my PC resources, which I'm not keen on. So I've done a fair amount of testing comparing the actual live results on my MT4 terminal versus the results based on EA Studio. And while they're not perfect, they're about 70, 80% there. So good enough for me, especially if it solves my problem of having so many MT4 terminals running so many different experiments. So that's when I decided to stop at demo trading on my own broker and use the backtesting results based off EA Studio. The second and most important objective was to see if this system is indeed profitable and my testing has shown that there is potential here. And the third objective was to get a baseline of test results because I do have access to the software expert advisor studio. Remember that this is a three step approach and step one is to generate the expert advisors and put them on a demo account. From there you move from the demo to a live account based on a uh, profit factor of at least 1.2 with at least three trades. If I start off with generating my own expert advisors in step one and I stuff up and I generate over optimized strategies, then my demo and live steps will be pointless because the chart will go down and I will lose money. That's why with step one, I chose to use the expert advisors from these three courses to make sure that I don't stuff up in step one because Petco has much more experience with this software than I do. Now that phase one is complete, I'm going to move on to phase two. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop trading the expert advisors from the courses because I need something to compare with. So I'm going to continue trading exactly the same way that I've been doing for the past six months. And this is what phase two is going to look like. So the 1001 series is robots from the courses. And that's going to stay the same. And because I'm a programmer, the next logical step would be 1002, 1003. That's how creative I'm going to get. For the 1002 series, I'm going to use M15 timeframe expert advisors that I generate myself. And the, for the 1003 series, I'm going to use the expert advisors I generated myself again, but based on the one hour time frame. Because the 15 minute time frame is much faster, I'm going to use the same um, criteria to pick the ones from demo over to live. So the, the profit factor of at least uh, 1.2 and a minimum of three paid tr trades over the past one week and one month worth of trading. And that is what is taught in Petco's course, but I don't really like operating like that. The 15 minute time frame is too fast for my liking and updating it every single week is a bit of a pain in the That's why with the third experiment, I'm gonna go with a longer time frame, the one hour time frame, which will be updated monthly. And the my criteria for picking the best expert advisors won't be based on anything like profit factor. I'm just gonna use my eyes and look at the chart. If it looks smooth with a curvy sort of like that, I'm gonna go with it. I started these brand new two accounts last week and I've shared the exact expert advisors that I trade every single week to my gold Patreon members for both my 1002 series and 1003 series. If you want to find out more about how I generate my strategies for the 15 minute time frame and the one hour time frame, then watch this video right here. But I warn you, it is super nerdy and super detailed, just like me.